Yes, my body be looking different all the time. <laughs> I be looking different all the time, to be honest. You know, so I can smell good. So when people hug me, which I don't want nobody to hug me, but if somebody hug me, <laughs> Ow, child, you smell great. They looking more fuller again. <laughs> the woman's anatomy is crazy, and I hate it here. As y'all can tell, I have no makeup on. I was supposed to be putting on makeup. I was supposed to be looking actually jazzy today. Um, but y'all, when you sick, you really don't be caring about all that. <laughs> all you be caring about is getting better. So, um, I came on the camera to talk about a few things, but the first thing I wanna talk about is today's sponsor. Um, the sponsor for today's video is Fetch Rewards. Um, Fetch Rewards is a free app. Basically, you, you hit download in the app store on your iPhone or on your Google Play store, whatever phone you have. Just select Fetch Rewards, download the app, enter my code Eyes of Jess, and the first 3,000 points are on me. Of course, when you sign, sorry y'all. <laughs> of course, when you sign up on the app, you get, you, if you use my code, you will get 3,000 points, which is equal to $3, free money. So let me tell y'all about what Fetch Rewards offers. Fetch Rewards offers free gift cards so you convert them. So whatever you use as far as if you purchase anything, all you do is scan your receipt on the app. The app tells you how many points that receipt gets from that purchase and those points convert into gift cards, which is free money. And those gift cards, you can go to Sephora, you can go to Walgreens, Walmart, you can buy airplane tickets. The, the possibilities are endless with Fetch Rewards. So make sure, again, you use my code Eyes of Jess for your first free 3,000 points. And all you have to do is download the app. This is a free app for you and your family and friends to use. Thank you so much for Fetch Rewards for sponsoring this video. Good afternoon, y'all, and happy Monday. So we're starting off a new vlog. Thank you, guys. I'm trying to pull y'all up so y'all can see me properly. Maybe I need to back up. <laughs> yeah, back up a little bit. But anyway, y'all, thank you guys for clicking on my face again. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe this video with your friends and family. And I just said subscribe this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video <laughs> with your friends and family people, okay? Um, definitely apologize for that mess up. But um, what I have on, let me just go ahead and get into it. Um, I have on a very cut up, improperly cut uh, t-shirt that I've been having for like six years. I got this from Rainbow. It says melanin on it. And it looks like the Martin logo. So I thought this was cute to wear because I'm literally about to go and run errands. And then I have on these leggings and y'all wouldn't believe where these leggings are from. So I got on these, Ooh, Lord, you know, I'm thick. I got on these wide band leggings. The band starts right here and goes up like it's this thick. And I got these from Sam's. Yes, Sam's. Sam's, uh, whatever you want to call it, Sam's Club. So I got these from Sam's. So yeah, I got these from Sam's. And I think I believe they were like $5, yes. $5. I don't know how much they cost now, but I'm going to link them in the description box if y'all are interested. I'm wearing a size large, and they have like pockets on the side of them. And they have like these detailing holes. Okay, sorry y'all, before I was really interrupted. So these have like the pockets where you can put your phone. So these are workout leggings, to be honest. I'm still trying to pull them up because I'm not used to this band right here. So. But yeah, these have like the pockets on the side and the detailing it has like, oops. It has like the little holes right here. I don't know if y'all can see that up close. It has holes on the thighs. 
So I just literally took off my press on nails. They get in the way. That's the beauty. Ooh, these shades be crooked. But that's the beauty of wearing press on nails. You can literally take them off. They actually was lasting. I could have kept them on, but I had to pop them off. Um, but that's the beauty of wearing press on nails when you get tighter nails and they be getting in the way and you rough on your hands, even if you're not roughing your hands. Sometimes nails get in my way. So I took them off and they were so pretty. I had them on for my little romantic weekend. Yeah, girl, we had fun. We had a really good time. I always have, I mean, like I said, I've been on several date with, dates with this guy. We always have a great time. Um, like I said, I barely vlog because of that. We had such a great time. I'm, uh, right now, I'm putting on the, um, I'm putting on Kiss Professionals New York Glam Shine Gloss. I can see the Glam Shine. And this is in the shade Cosmic. Got it right? You can say number 11 or Cosmic. And this is my absolutely favorite one by Kiss. Y'all know I swear by Kiss lip glosses and Kiss nails. I actually just took off some Kiss press on nails. Those are the most high quality press on nails in my opinion. Sorry, no shade to anybody else. High quality press on nails. They're like five or six five or six dollars. I think the highest one is like seven dollars. And I think they have another one that's like a majestic line that's about $10 or $11. That's still saving money from going to the nail shop. You need to save your money from getting your nails done sometimes. And if you just want that temporary look, just make the only trick to press on nails is applying them correctly. That's it. You want that same look without the nail shop price? Get you some press on nails, girl. I keep telling y'all. I think a lot of us YouTubers tell y'all, save your money, especially if you're about to go on vacations and stuff. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to literally run to Aldi. Um, I need to get some things from Aldi and some stuff from Walmart and Food Town. I told y'all about Food Town before. So I'm going to try to take y'all in there. Food Town, mm, I told y'all that meat at Food Town don't be aesthetically pleasing, but it be good meat. Okay? And who don't want no good meat? And I told, and like the thing is that I told y'all that I'm back on my health kick. So I definitely need to meal prep tonight. I did not meal prep last night. I need to meal prep. I'm going to give me some chicken thighs, chicken legs, or chicken wings to meal prep and eat all week with like a veggie. Like I'm thinking about zucchini and cauliflower rice. That's gonna be my two sides. So that's what I'm gonna be eating and I'm back to fasting, doing the one meal a day and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And yes, that's gonna be my first meal. I don't know if that's gonna be my first meal of the day or I'm just gonna run to Chipotle and get me a bowl since I have to cook and meal prep. But yeah, for the next three or four days, that's what I'm gonna be eating. It's chicken with zucchini and cauliflower rice. I'm gonna be sticking to that. Um, so yeah. So y'all come on Aldi and these little stoves. We got look, this is regular girl YouTube. We don't we don't be just coming up with just just fun stuff to do so y'all can view it. I want y'all to be able to relate to me. Uh regular girls go to Aldi. Regular girls go grocery shopping. As as much as everybody else, but I can make a full regular video. And I will be ha I personally will be happy with the fact that I created some good content. So that's what we doing. So this might be a regular regular schmegla video, but I don't know if that's what I'm gonna call it, but that's what it's gonna be. So anyway, come on, because I'm talking too much. Come on with me to Aldi and let's enjoy some little little grocery shopping. Cause I got a little budget for $25. Okay, bye bye. Okay, y'all. Well, y'all, I just left Chipotle. Uh, I can't even talk. I just left Chipotle, and I got a freak walk. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to save this Chipotle. I mean, this Chipotle, this guac for later on. I'm probably going to give me some chironis, which are pork skins, and I'm going to eat it with this because they have zero carbs. And then um, that, that will kind of curb my appetite. That's going to be between my eating window. So I can be, you know, I can be ready to eat because I haven't eaten anything. So um, it is now 3.36. My eating window is between five and nine, but I don't eat after eight. So 
I'm about to go and get what I need to get so I can get home and cook it so it can be ready for me to eat during my eating window while my food is cooking. I can eat my appetizer. That's how I do. Guess where we at, y'all? We at Aldi. We at Aldi. Let's see what they got. Okay, y'all, I don't know what this annoying paper is. Um, okay, y'all, so Aldi was a success, so I'm happy about that. Ooh, this wig is looking a little tired. I just really threw it on today. Anyway, y'all, so Aldi was a success. And I got what I came for, of course. I got like one more thing that I didn't come for, but I like, I wanted it. I actually wanted it. So as y'all seen, this is, I'm trying to remove the tag so y'all can take a screenshot. Hold on. I want y'all to make sure y'all get this brand. So I was put on, I got it off. So I was put on by this bread, this particular keto bread by Dominique A. Nobody else, I, it could be someone else or whatever, and I just don't watch them, but nobody else, like the girls' girls, if you get it, you get it. They're never mentioning this bread on their vlogs. And this is the best bread, and I've been eating this bread since Dominique A first mentioned it, which was like, what, a year or two ago when she first started her keto journey. And I watch her all the time. And her, uh, she does like the what I eat in a day videos, and she's been doing those for like two years. She put me onto this bread. So when I be hearing like other uh, YouTubers and other people that I know that complain about how they can't eat sandwiches no more, um, how they miss tuna sandwiches, how they miss burgers, how they miss um, just different things like toast, just just all kind of things that involve bread. Get this bread. Take a screenshot. This is the La Oven or Lovin'. I don't know if you say La Oven or Lovin' Fresh. That is the brand, keto-friendly multi-seed bread. I get the multi-seed, they have a wheat one, but the multi-seed tastes better. This is the best tasting keto bread I've ever had because H-E-B sells keto bread, Walmart sells keto bread, Target has it, I think, but this is the best tasting one and the multi-grain one, like the multi-seed one is the best. It tastes really, really good. And I eat it all kind of ways. It's vegan. It's five grams of per protein per seat per serving. Zero guilt. It says it all on the front. Keto centered, and uh, uh, certified, not centered. And on the back, the nutrition facts, y'all. Look at the nutrition facts. Hold on, I'm trying to make sure I straighten it up. Forty-five calories per slice. Okay. And then the carbohydrates. You know, you do the keto math. It's the nine minus the nine. Okay, because I think, you know, it has the nine carbohydrates and nine fiber. I'll put the keto math on the screen so I won't be inaccurate of what I'm saying. That's keto math, okay? And, you know, it's 45 per serving, per slice. All you need is two slices with your dinner. And I eat this with dinner or if you want to eat, like, a, for lunch. If you want a tuna sandwich with all the fixings, get two pieces of bread. You don't have any, if you're, if you're, especially if you're on a low carb diet or no carb diet, whatever diet, low carb, whatever, um, you get your two pieces of keto bread, you put your tuna mixing on it, you put your lettuce, tomato, however you eat your tuna sandwich and you eat it. And it tastes like a tuna sandwich. It tastes just like it. And also there's no sugars in this. Zero. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's zero sugar. So I got that. I picked that up. Um, I don't like. I don't really like it when people stare, but I certainly don't like it when creepy men stare at me. Like they be creepy, creepy. And like I said, it's usually men with girls and they be with their wives, they be with their kids. And I've had many situations where men will not only stare, but they will, try, they will actually say something to me. And not like no no uh, innocent stuff like hey how you doing or you know like literally say something to me like hey what's your name like when their wife is not looking type stuff. I'm telling you they're getting bold out here and I think it's just a Houston thing. Like I said we're number one 
Houston is notorious for cheaters. I had told my uh, little boo thing when he said he wanted to move out here. I told him, cause you know, I always talk to my boos like I'm not looking for a relationship with them cause I'm not. And so um, when we talk and we have conversations, I don't, our type of conversations are kind of like conversations that I'm having with my homeboy type stuff. And so I was talking with him and I was telling him, he said he wanted to move down here. And I said, well, if you're ever trying to settle down, I don't think this is the place, um, especially if you're in my age group. He's in my age group. You know, he's, he's in his, I think he just turned 40. So that's my age group. Um, and I said, if you're trying to move down here, just know that it's a lot of sleazy people out here. And not just men, it'd be women too. That be in these relationships, don't be satisfied, be settling and stuff like that. And I'm not, I'm not judging y'all, you know, it, but I just feel like y'all need to stop settling because y'all going to hurt somebody. Y'all going to continue to hurt these people that y'all in relationship with. I don't care if they're cheating too. Just be single. This is the best place to be single. To be honest, you could do whatever you want and not have to answer to nobody. That's why I'm single. But the fact of the matter that y'all are out here blatantly disrespecting your partners like that in public, trying to talk to a stranger, like me being the stranger, moaning. I mean, I've even had like about the first time that I had this bad occurrence where, you know, people were staring at me or men was trying to talk to me at the grocery store. This man literally was passing me up and he moaned in my ear. It sounds funny. It is funny. But this man literally was in his, with his wife and he had he went down the aisle. I guess he told her. He must have told her something for them to split up somehow. And I guess he was telling her that he needed to go to another aisle or whatever the case may be and go get something else. But he picked the aisle that I was on and he literally moaned in my ear. Like he tried to get real close to me. If I didn't have much to lose, I would have punched him. Seriously. Anyway, and it makes me laugh because... You know, some women, you know, I don't want to call them the H word. And I'm not talking about the H-O word. I'm talking about the H-A word. Because um, I don't like using that. Because sometimes, you know, they it, it just be projection, which it could be a H-A-T-E-R-S. Um, but anyway... Um, they be saying how well, you you gotta you gotta stop assuming that these men want you, baby. You wanna see my you wanna see my phone? You wanna see my inbox on social media, my DMs? You can have them since they don't want me and they want you because that's what it sounds like. Like you want them to want you. You can have them all the men that I leave their messages either unread or unresponded to, not responded to. You have them since I'm trying to since I'm assuming that men want me and stuff like that when they actually in actuality do But anyway, I mean I'm just saying that you know I'm already bothered by the fact that I'm getting bothered by these men. So why don't you take them off my hands? You know, have them give them something else to pay attention to so they can leave me alone. How about that? Um, I am going to make a chit chat get ready with me because it was one of my quote unquote friends that made that statement to me. And I was like, girl, you freaking crazy. You, you know who I am, right? You know that men always drawn to me. And then she literally said, child, she literally said that. So now, and she said it when I was bigger, men was trying to talk to me. Sweetie, are you a hater? Men not trying to talk to me now. You don't be with me, Twitter. I haven't literally, I have not went out with this chick in so long. And for her to say that, oh my God, do you know what you're talking about? You really clearly don't know what you're talking about. Every time I go out, every time, I shouldn't even have to Y'all be, pull, pull, pull up, back up. Your friends is not, like, okay, first of all, let me ask this in separate different questions. First of all, my friend is supposed to assume that I get men like that. Like, birds of feathers should be flocking together. So you don't think you're a bad chick? Or you think you're the bad chick out of all, like, your whole friend group? Like, you think you're better than me? You think you look better than me? What is it? 
Or you think you can get men more than I can get men? Any any woman that talk like that to another woman when it's when she's talking about somebody else's love life. And I ain't even asked for that. We really wasn't even talking about that when, we, when that conversation started. But anyway, like, for you to comment, unnecessarily comment, on if a man should want me or is supposed to want me or I need to assume that he do or he should, I shouldn't assume that he don't want me, is it because you don't have men that want you? Or... Or you wanted the man that wanted me and he didn't want you. I mean, what is it? Because it really ain't nothing else. And I'm not being shady. Like, I'm serious. Like, if you want what, you know, if you want these men to talk to you, you ain't got to assume either because I'm not assuming. They do. I have weird people that be trying to talk to me just as much as the calm people and, and the regular people do. I don't know. I don't see how this bothers other women what a other women says about her own love life. I don't see how that bothers a woman unless it's, it's unless her love life is uneventful. That's what it is. I think when a woman speaks on what another woman is doing in her love life and she didn't really ask for it and it's really not a public love life and she's not putting her love light out on display like that and you got something to say unprovokingly that because your love life is boring or something like that that's what that means or like you're projecting because my love life is fine my dating life is a one i don't know if i said this before but i've gone two dates minimum which is not a flex because i be meeting some dudes where i be like oh i don't want to go on another date with them that's cool but I get dates. Do you get dates? Because if you get dates, let's talk about let's talk about the man that you get. You don't need to go into detail about what I need to stop doing and what girl you have no idea. <laughs> Good evening, y'all, and happy Friday. <laughs> it is Friday night at 11 11 p.m. <laughs> So I just decided to come a camera randomly. I'm getting ready to curl my hair. I'm already actually dressed. I'm gonna show y'all what I got on. It's something super, when I say super casual, it's cute, but it's casual, baby. I'm wearing heels, but it's casual. I'm gonna show y'all what I got on, but I decided, let me fix y'all a little bit better. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I decided to cut on the camera because um, I'm getting ready to go out and I need to curl this hair. I got black, I got, uh, I can't even talk. I got back in my uh, black hair, my black long hair that I wore uh, last weekend. I just wanted something long tonight. Yes, it's a synthetic wig and I actually thinned out the wig. So I'm just brushing it out because I'm getting ready to curl it. I want curls throughout. I don't want waves. Just waving it is just too much work. So, um, but anyway, I picked up the camera and I just talk about my hair and outfit and that like that. So I got off early. I got off at like 1230 today because, you know, it's Good Friday. You know, it's Resurrection Weekend, Easter Weekend. And um, I got off early. But right like around 1230, 1 o'clock, I start feeling really, really sick. Really, really, really sick. Really, really, really sick. Um... Y'all know I take birth control pills now. This is gonna be my second week in a row being on these pills. And it's ha it has happened to me before that um, I would get like, you know, nauseated and have nausea um, after, you know, taking my pill. And the, nause the nausea will happen immediately. Like when the within an hour after taking the pill, I get nauseated fast. Sorry if I'm not looking at y'all. I'm trying to curl this hair. But yeah, I get really, really nauseated fast after taking this pill. And it only happens to me once a week. So this is my second time getting really, really nauseated. So it'd be all week, I'd be okay. And then it takes that one time where it just really gets me really, really sick. And I can't move. I'd be, I just... It's like I'm on my my deathbed, pretty much. That's how sick I was today. So, yeah. 
So I was supposed to run a lot of errands. Um, I actually wanted to go get like some dresses. I wanted me and my daughter to, we wanted to wear the color blue cause we're gonna go to church with my parents and family. Like I think most of my mom's side of the family is coming into town on um, tomorrow. And me, uh, me and my daughter, I wanted us to coordinate. We always coordinate for uh, Easter Sunday. Ooh, I can't, I'm just now getting better y'all. Um, we coordinate for Easter Sunday, like we'll wear the same color or we'll wear the same dress. So um, I wanted to do that today. I needed to go pay my car note, um, but I'll pay that tomorrow. That's fine, I'm still on time. Um, I wanted to take care of all that, but I think the credit union was probably closed today. Being it being Good Friday, I'm not too sure. I wouldn't have known because I couldn't leave my house. I didn't leave my house until about eight o'clock. And that's, no, it wasn't even eight o'clock. It was like 7.30 and we went to Dollar Tree. I had to go and pick up um, some saltine crackers and ginger ale. Yeah, I was that sick. So um, that really revived me. It took me about an hour to be revived after eating it. So I ate like a couple of rows of them saltine crackers. First of all, saltine crackers are good. You know, I don't be eating crackers like that because they have a lot of carbs, but um, that really helped me out because I didn't have anything on my stomach since this morning. Um, also this morning, a transparent, uh, oh Lord, I can't even talk. Why well, I can never talk when I turn on this camera? Just a transparency moment. This morning I felt, that could be another reason why I was sick though. Well, this morning I felt very, very hungry. And I actually went to go get Whataburger breakfast for me and my daughter because you know she's out of school. So that could be another thing. Maybe the grease was old. Maybe they used old cooking grease. Also, on two of the, uh, yeah, I overate by the way. Um, on the meal that I had, it had eggs. The eggs could have been old because um, I don't really eat dairy like that. And y'all know I've been on a diet. I've been on a diet. So just imagine being on a diet and you go and binge eat. And if I told y'all in my last last vlog, when you binge eat, not only do you gain weight, I didn't include that part. I mean, you, I, get, I include the part about gaining weight. But also what I didn't say is that you can get very, very sick. Very, very sick. Because your body is not used to all the carbs and all the sugars. And you're just attacking your body like that. So that could be another reason why I got sick. It could be a multitude of things. Also, I had coffee this morning. And I actually haven't had coffee in almost two weeks. Because I eliminated, I, I, uh, I can't even talk. I eliminated coffee out my diet. Because coffee was making me hungrier. I don't know if I said that in my last vlog or the vlog before that. But coffee um, makes me hunger. It does not suppress my appetite um, like other, like normal people. I don't know why, but um, that's what happened with that. And I also use half and half. I ain't even used no zero, no zero sugar creamer to put in the coffee because I didn't have any. I just used water burgers, and they half and half probably was old. Um, it could have just been a lot of factors of why I was so sick today. I'm probably going to fix this. I know y'all can't see, but I'm going to show y'all. I just wanted to talk to y'all. But yeah, um, so that what was going down today. Um, I was supposed to actually work out too. Um, when I got off early, I was like, man, even this morning, it was kind of rainy this morning, thank God. But even when I got off of work, I was like, okay, I'm going to go get a run in and then go run on my errands. Like go running for a good like three or four miles because I felt good but I'm telling you that sickness and that illness did not hit me until I took my birth control pills at 12 and that's the time I take my pills at 12 noon or pill <laughs> and man so I just wanted to share that with y'all I'm about to cut back I'm about to cut off the camera finish this look I'm actually watching Dominique A um, cause she posted a vlog tonight 
Um, and also, I posted a video. I posted a chit chat get ready with me about an hour before she posted hers. So if y'all haven't checked that out, please do so. Um, that was my last part in talking about men. <laughs> if I got anything else uh, to say about men, I'll say it in my vlogs. I'm tired of them taking over my chit chats. Um, the only reason why I was talking about men again in the chit chat is because I was mentioning about the ultimatum and stuff like that. And Cam Newton and stuff like that. So, But yeah, anyway, y'all, let me go ahead and get finished with this hair and getting ready because I'm actually just going to be, I'm planning on just being out for an hour. I just want to look cute. I don't think I'm going to have a drink. I'm probably just going to sip on a bottle of water. I just want to peep the scene because it is a popular weekend to go out. And I'm going to come back home. So I'll see y'all when I get all the way dressed. So I can show y'all my very casual outfit. It's so casual. All right. Okay, y'all. Okay, so this is what we're wearing. I told you it's a title t-shirt. I think it says, don't worry about me, I'm good. And all you can see is I'm OD. <laughs> so this is what we got on. Um, I got some door knocker earrings. I think these are from Miss A or the B. I think these are from the beauty supply place. These were like a dollar fifty. This bracelet is from uh, the beauty supply place. No, this is from Rainbow. I keep forgetting. This is from Rainbow. The this ring is from Miss A. This ring is from Miss A. Broken Diddy's watch. Still ain't find me a watch. I'm probably just gonna go and give me a watch off of Amazon. Cause I want a cheap watch. Unless JBW watches wanna send me something. <laughs> but anyway, the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing, they're like kinda dusty. Kinda warm in a while. But these are some brown mules. Shiny brown mules. Very, very pretty. This is like maybe Mm, three inches three and a half inches tall so i love these so much so we're gonna be wearing these tonight and i got these from fashion house and they have the square toe i've had these for a while <laughs> i've had these for about two no about a year and a half so that's what we're wearing as far as shoes and i have an anklet on the anklet i got it from that store off of harwin oh got a cramp and big toe but yeah, this is how the body is looking. It's looking pretty good, I must say. Yes, my body be looking different all the time. <laughs> I be looking different all the time, to be honest. So we about to put on, I don't know if y'all can see me, and lift it up some more. So we about to put on the lip combo for tonight. See the hair turned out good, the little curls. I wanted messy curls, I don't want them uniformed. And I'm about to spray that cocoa lab so it can have some more body. Um, so the lip combination. Uh, we're gonna be wearing my wine lip liner from Arcade by Kiss. And then this time we're gonna uh, wear cosmic instead of orgasmic. So I want my lips to look really good tonight. Hence the fact I'm not going to be out that long, y'all. I'm telling you. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to sharpen this liner. Make sure all the shavings get on my vanity. <sighs> so, we're gonna line our lips. I want my lips to look extra juicy. And I'm not gonna be drinking tonight only because I was sick. I'm not. I don't care if anybody offer me anything. I'm not. They can get me a Sprite or water in a water bottle. So, I just want to look pretty, casual, listen to some music, people watch. I do that anyway. Drink or not. Uh, and uh, it's a 75% chance. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on Sunday. <laughs> I wanna do Sunday fun day. So that's what we up to for the next couple of days besides family. Tomorrow is straight up family. Tomorrow and half the day Sunday. The whole day tomorrow 
and half the half a day Sunday, like 36 hours, it's gonna be 36 hours of family time. So family is gonna take over this vlog. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have them on camera. I don't think so, but let me go get that Coco Lab. It's right here. Cause I was spraying this wig before I start styling it. Cause sometimes you can spray. Okay, this is the Coco Lab dry shampoo. And sometimes you don't you don't have to just spray it for body. I spray it for body, but the smell. Spray spray your wigs. I'm not just talking about synthetic. I'm talking about natural wigs. Spray your wigs, and it'll smell good. So I only go at the bottom, you know, in between. Yeah. It's like it's good. So when people hug me, which I don't want nobody to hug me, but if somebody hugs me, <laughs> oh, child, you smell right. So yeah, this ain't nothing but a ghetto fabulous casual look. And y'all seen these leggings? Oh, these leggings. I forgot to show, show y'all. Tell y'all, these leggings are some one size fit all DD's leggings. They fit everybody. These are $3.99. I think this shirt was either from Rainbow or Fashion House, and this was like $10 or $12. I've had this, these two items for a year. And I've wore these pants on my on one of my like first vlogs on YouTube. Never wore this shirt on YouTube, but I wore this shirt like three months ago. So that's how we looking. As y'all could tell, see TMI, but my boobs, they looking more fuller again. <laughs> The woman's anatomy is crazy, and I hate it here. I was kind of liking the small boobs. I'm not liking the big boobs anymore. That comes with the territory when you be on hormones and stuff. So I'm getting ready to, um, I know that was none of y'all business, but y'all are women. Y'all want to know, right? So I'm getting ready to pack my little brown Aldo bag that I showed y'all before. I'm going to wear it top handle like that or probably double it again. Probably loop it again and then like loop, 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 and hold it. So, in my bag. I don't think I'm gonna take my ebony woods and nothing like that. I need to spray my ebony woods. Okay. So let's do a what's in my bag. So I'm bringing my little makeup brush, my little touch up brush. It doesn't have any product on it. I just touch up my makeup. I'm bringing a tin of Nivea cream. Is this something in here? Oh yeah, it's in my. I bring these, I put this in my purse. Mahogany teak wood, um, Bath and Body Works, um, hand sanitizer, some gum. I'll be the only one breath smelling good in the club. Everybody else breath is tainted. <sighs> some nail glue. My lip products. I'm wearing my toes out just in case something gets chipped or whatever. Some touch up white polish. That's why I like white regular polish on my clothes. Just in case I need to touch up my lashes. Some lash glue. And last but not freaking least, my god doggone wow. <laughs> so that's what we're taking. I do need to pack like a little baby brush. I don't know where my baby brush is. But I need to pack a baby brush since my hair is straight so I can brush it. But that's it. I'll probably do that the last minute when I walk out the door. I'm about to walk out the door actually. Um, so yeah, let me show y'all the full cool look. Top handle it. And this is how we look. And this is how we looking, y'all. Brown and brown and army fatigue i don't know how to describe it <laughs> so i don't know if i'm gonna pick y'all back up oh sorry i don't know if i'm gonna pick y'all back up and start talking to y'all in the car right there or talk to y'all when i get back or cue a montage or nothing like that i don't know what's gonna be next but i'll be right back i'm just gonna have a, a bottle of water and hopefully the vibes are there. Let's pray. Let us pray. 
just just pray for my safety. That's all. That's all that matters. All right, I'll catch y'all on the next clip in one second. Well, good morning because it's literally like almost 3 a.m. Sheesh. So, it was all right tonight, as usual. Like I said, Sundays is when the party gets started and stuff like that for Houston, but... I still like to kind of go out on Friday. I didn't go out last. I didn't go out at all last weekend. So I only limit my going out for like twice a twice a month. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Sheesh. Uh, excuse the curtain rod in the back. It's crooked. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo that. Y'all know I'm not. I don't know if I talked about. Well, if you're new, one of my first vlogs, I put that curtain rod up. Cause I had got my apartment repainted. Baby, I am not mechanically inclined. Anyway, um, y'all wanna see my best friends that I've been friends with for the past, what is it, 12 hours now? So this is my first best friend, Miss G. <laughs> I'm still kinda ill. Oh, it's not it's not the vid okay it's not that so i already took a test today and i got a rapid result and everything was fine it wasn't that um anyway my number two best friend is this <laughs> miss s <laughs> that's my two best friends miss g and miss s they took a test at CVS and I took a home test here and they were both negative. It's not that I don't have those symptoms though. I don't have like no snotting, you know, all that. I don't have those symptoms. I have like headache and nausea, headache, nausea. That's it. It could be a little stomach bug too. So I don't know. We shall see this is the wrong weekend to have a stomach bug. So hopefully I feel better in the morning. I'm going to squig some more of Mrs. G. Maybe take a couple of bites of Miss S. And um, melt all this makeup off. And take my tail to bed. I don't have to wake up that early in the morning. But I need to make a couple of phone calls early in the morning. I do want to kind of run around the city a little bit to the hood and see what they got over there. But at this point, I need to get better first because I'm going to be linking up with family later on tomorrow afternoon. So rest sounds more important. Plus, on top of that, I have to get our dresses. So actually, that's what I need to do tomorrow. I don't need to be running around no city. I need to be getting our Easter dresses, something simple and uh, something that goes with some nude shoes because I'm wearing my nude shoes. My nude shoes and new purse. New shoes, new bag. So, and I'll make sure that my daughter has whatever shoes she needs. And we good. And the dresses. Anyway, y'all, I'm very wore out because I told y'all I was sick. Still kind of sick. So, I'm going to catch y'all. Y'all see how I got my hair up? <laughs> oh, I found my clips, y'all. Y'all see my clips? I found my clips. Both of them. I'm not going to deattach this wig. I'm going to put on a bonnet. And then I'll just recurl it in the morning. That's just too much work. That's too much work. Um, so yeah, y'all. Yeah, let me give me a lot of sleep. I'm planning on doing an eight-hour sleep, and I'll hit y'all back in the morning. Okay. Peace. So I'm on my way to pay my freaking car note. I was supposed to pay. I think I was talking about that in my other clips. I don't know if I did or not. But um, I was supposed to be pay paying this yesterday because I didn't feel like doing it today. But I think yesterday I couldn't even pay it anyway because yesterday was Good Friday. And I don't know if all the banks and credit unions are closed on Friday. Ooh, Lord. I'm, I have y'all on my old mount, so bear with me. <laughs> um, and I hate paying bills on the weekends. Like, I hate paying bills on Saturdays. 
I like to enjoy myself on the weekends and not worry about that stuff. But it's okay, I'm still on time, everything's fine. A lot of people can't say the same, so I'm good. And after we get our dresses, um, we're just gonna slide to the family home. Um, I think we're gonna eat some crawfish. I'm gonna take it easy, y'all. I don't think I don't have any more nausea anymore, but I still have a throbbing headache. That's the update on my oh lord, this traffic is so bad. That's the update on my sickness. Um, is that I still have the headache, but I don't have the nausea. And I still haven't, fit. of course, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional, so I have not found out exactly what it was that made me sick. I'm praying to hope to God that it's not my birth control, but I don't think it's my birth control. Um, I just think I got a stomach bug. That's just pretty much it. But it's, And of course, when you get migraines and headaches, it makes you wanna throw up. So I guess that is partnered with the nausea. I guess the nausea is still there. So y'all just pray for me. By the time y'all see this video, I probably might be over it. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully by the time y'all see this video, I'm over it. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I got a few of them. I wouldn't wish it on them. So that's how we feeling today. So um, I'm about to actually take me some ibuprofen. I need to take about four of them mugs and, and down them. I got me some water right here. And I got my ginger ale in the front seat. But that ginger ale ain't really helping nothing. I don't know what the ginger ale for, but because I'm not feeling any type of uh, gassiness or nothing like that. Like I said, I just have a headache. So I'm just gonna take this ibuprofen and I can't stop taking my birth control and it's time for me to take my birth control. So I cannot not take it. So I gotta take that. Lord, y'all, my body been going through some things. First, you go. You gotta. At first, you gotta deal with your body being being fat, then it being skinny, then you're losing weight, then you're gaining weight, then you gotta worry about not getting pregnant, then you gotta worry about when well, you can't get pregnant, then you gotta worry about your period, then you gotta worry about when well, your period ain't came, then you gotta worry about your period heavy, then you gotta worry about your period not heavy. Lord, can I be a man? Let me be a man. They got it easy. They ain't got, and I'm not talking about easy like in, in life. I'm talking about they got it easy when it comes to their body. They don't even halfway, but most of them people, most of them men don't even halfway bathe. <sighs> they stink. I'm hating y'all. Let me cut this camera off. I need to go and uh, go up at HEB, take care of my business. I need to actually put something on my stomach. I'm tired of eating crackers. I ain't even bring my crackers. I haven't ate a full meal since yesterday morning, which is horrible. I need to eat me some rice or potatoes or something with no salt on it. Some oatmeal with no sugar in it. I need something. So y'all pray that I find that. But I'm gonna cut y'all off for a minute, take care of my business, and I'm gonna pick y'all back up when we get to the family home. I think I'm gonna pick y'all back up when we get to the store. Oh no. I'm gonna pick y'all back up. Bye. Ooh, y'all. Look what HEB got. They got the chocolate, the white chocolate dip. Strawberries with all the different, like, colored icing on it. I wish I could eat that. But my, my I, I'm really sick. I don't think I gotta make it worse, huh? Look at these apple pies, cinnamon apple pie. Mm. I'm not a big fan of apple pie, but that looks good. This is like some peach melba pie. That looks like some type of pecans or something on it. And then this is like cherry pies, this is apple walnut, and then that's more cookies and stuff. Oh, that is so cute. Ooh, what's this over here? Oh, egg cakes. Ooh, that makes me sick just looking at it. Look at the price. Look at these, they look disgusting. Who wants to eat that? The blue ones look nasty too. These the only ones, that's cute. It's $16, what is that? Egg cake, like is it cake? Mm. My daddy and my daughter is right now to my ugh. <laughs> Ooh, donut holes. Mm, 
Mm. Okay, y'all. So y'all know I love. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I know y'all. Y'all know. Uh, I can't even talk. I don't know if y'all know, but I love spicy food, and I want this so bad. But I can't eat extra spicy foods and extra sweet foods. This is the wrong weekend, bro. Wrong weekend. Look at all these spices. Oh, I love this brand, Siete. Oh. Man. I can still buy it for the future. But anyway, I gave my daughter some money. She's getting her some sushi. Show them where you're going to sushi. She's getting a Gulf Coast roll. Y'all need to, don't cover it. Y'all need to come to H-E-B because that's the best sushi I ever tasted in my life. She got her some plantain chips. She's, how her palate is, her food palate. How my daughter's food palate is, she is, um, she eats international foods a lot. Um, she eats regular American food, but her favorite food is like anything that's non-American. She just, that's what she eats, so. And her favorite food is sushi. My favorite food. I like sushi too, but that's not my favorite. But So, I already paid my bill. Bills. So, we're just up in here kind of strolling. We need to look at some snacks though. I don't know. We're going to see. I don't need to be eating nobody's snack. I need a meal. <laughs> so, my daughter. What you asking me now? I'm going to get Easter baskets no more. Look how they look. You're not going to enjoy them. Well, get the good ones. Girl, look at the price for these. The Food Town one's better. Food Town? Yeah. I don't remember seeing them at Food Town. I went to Food Town the other day. Maybe at the top of the, the groceries. These kind of horrible. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get no candy in here. But what happened to the Easter candy? Oh, these are, y'all, let me tell y'all on the news. I don't know why y'all still buying them. They are recalling these. They have salmonella in them. I don't know why y'all keep buying these Easter candies. Look, they almost gone. Y'all, y'all just poisoning y'all kids. church i'll insert our photos of what me and my daughter took we looked it so cute we had matching dresses it was just all around church was all around great of course but i just wanted to show y'all our pictures that we posted by now they should be posted on social media by now so if you're not following me on instagram that'll be in my stories on instagram and then on facebook it'll be on my timeline so Anyway, y'all, I wanted to show y'all some of the desserts and some of the food that we're gonna be eating today. <laughs> it ain't nothing healthy, so <laughs> just letting you know. So this is one of my favorites. This is key lime pie. Oh my God. This is by the brand Edwards. That's the only one we eat around this house. So yeah, I'm getting a slice of that. We got a triple chocolate cake. I don't think I want to eat this one because it's from Walmart. I don't really like Walmart's cake, but I'm going to try a little piece. This is also from Walmart. I don't know. But if y'all like Walmart desserts, this is what they got. They should have got the stuff from H-E-B though. I should have went to go pick one up yesterday while I was at H-E-B. But... so oily right now y'all I am so full I'm so full y'all see my y'all see my lipstick messed up it's time for me to take a nap I'm gonna have to holler at y'all a little later on I need a little nap so I'm gonna holler at y'all when I wake up it's now 1.30 I'm probably not going to get back to y'all until about like 5 o'clock. I'll holla. <laughs>
Oh my god, I'm so cool.